Well, last night I gave in to the cold and my husband and I lit our fireplace and even roasted some hot dogs for dinner. Then this morning it was too cold to not turn on our wall heater, but I'm not the only one who gave in. Our very own Whitney Ward turned on her heat this week as well. And I know for me growing up, it was always a debate of when we can turn on the heat, as I'm sure most of you have the last few days, but it's only a couple of days. So how much is it really going to cost? Well, to answer this, we used a Vista's energy cost estimator to find out. First, we looked at the energy cost for a small home or an apartment with a size of about 650 square feet and applied these specifications, electric water heater and turning down the thermometer when you're not home. Now, this estimated monthly average includes your entire Avista bill, which of course includes things like your lights and running appliances, but your heat source makes up 40 to 60% of that bill. To find the daily average, we use the low average because that's a typical energy cost during spring and fall months. Now, depending on your fuel type, the cost to heat your home per day could be as high as $1.80 per day and as low as $1.07. Well, then we applied the same specifications to a Spokane home that's about 2,600 square feet. Again, depending on your fuel type, it could cost you as high as $4.70 77 cents per day and as low as two dollars and 23 cents per day. Now, in both cases, you're really only paying a few bucks each day to stay warm. Now, not all homes are heated the same and they vary in square footage. So if you'd like to find out how much the average cost would be to heat your home for a few days at this time of the year, we'll have a link to a Vista's cost estimator posted on creme.com. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.